Absolutely. Do you have any kind of nitty gritty technology or, or, or even business ways that Spring Health has evolved based upon feedback? Well, sure. Uh, we, we started off uh, with the notion that people, because affordability is so important, and that's what we understood from other experiences, uh, that uh, if people would prefer to come to the village kiosk. Now, we started off many, many water, uh, drinking water oriented systems uh, subsidize the cost of a tube well or a hand pump. And then uh, they give that hand pump to the people in the village, and that's a source of clean water. But then the question is, who owns it? So a whole generation of studies of hand pumps uh, has repeatedly learned that it's as important as providing a hand pump that provides clean water is uh, keeping that hand pump operating. If you give that hand pump and people, nobody owns it, uh, within two years, something like 70 to 75 percent are inoperable. And I've talked to many people like uh, who have an inoperable hand pump. Uh, if, on the other hand, you sell a hand pump to a family for a total of uh, $20, including the tube well and the filter and the hand pump, and they pay for that hand pump, by the time they've decided to make that commitment, then uh, in comparison, when we did a survey of treadle pumps in Bangladesh, and those treadle pumps not only provided, in many cases, clean drinking water for the family, but irrigation water, which doubled their income and tripled their income. When that sucker broke, it got fixed. But then, then you had to build into the design features that could be repaired if they stop functioning by the family themselves. Didn't require an expert to come in with fancy equipment. If, if uh, the valve, that uh, if the foot valve was basically a critical component of that foot valve was an inner tube piece of rubber, then if it stopped working, the family knew where they could get some more inner tube rubber and use a pair of scissors and put it back and they could take the thing apart. So you have to design the whole technology in a way that the technology wasn't in charge. It was the people who were using the technology who were in charge. Uh, and that principle you can see in swing baskets or things that people use normally to move water. There's, they're easily fixable and they're easily understandable. Well, that's a basic principle of design, which uh, a lot of people who are trying to use their cell phones for complex exercises are totally baffled. But you need to, if you're, if you're designing a treadle pump, you know, just about the, one of the most amazing things that entrepreneurs who interviewed people with treadle pumps came away with was, Hey, you know what? That treadle pump, the, the foot valve was just about uh, not uh, operative at all, but it still worked. And when I asked the farmer how he would fix it if it broke away entirely, he said, oh, that's easy. I'd go and he, the, the farmer was in charge of the pump. Absolutely. The pump wasn't baffling the farmer. And that's the principle for drinking water or for replacing coal or for solar energy for the poor rural areas. Uh, I don't mean to run off at the moment no, so long into the question, but but uh, it, it, it is a very important question that you asked. It, it, it is important.